Still the same stream key? It says live, but it's just a black screen. Is it live? It's going live. There we go. Sweet. All right, it worked. What's up? Now we got to play some music. Hold on. What are we going to go with this time? Should we go with hype, anime, curious sounds, Christmas from home? I was really liking the, the electro swing from last time, but I can't find that anywhere. So we might just have to go with something else. Ooh, cyberpunk. Maybe that'll be good. If this sound is... If, nah, I'm not feeling this, actually. Cult soundtracks? Interesting. That's too loud, for sure. And that sounds too, like, 70s or 60s, 80s. I don't know. Too, like, popish. It's not like code music. What if we just, like, straight up... Can we search on here for code music? Code music. Genres? Nope, nothing comes up when we just type in code music. That's kind of disappointing. That's still too loud as well. The volume is super low. Do I need to turn it down on my computer here? What's up, guys? Gary with self taught dev. Haven't done the intro yet. We're about to do some more try hack me stuff because why why not? You know, it's Saturday, ten o'clock. Just got done with the gym. Ate some Chick Fil A because you know worked out. So I'm like, I deserve this. My birthday was yesterday. Happy happy late birthday to me. If you want to say happy birthday in the comments, that would make me super happy. It would make my heart warm a little bit. I don't know what the heck we are listening to right now. Jesus. All right, gaming music, and we want... Where is the Electro Swing? I like that. Epic Gaming, maybe? Maybe this will be good. I should have picked the music out before we started the stream, I'm, I'm thinking. Hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying listening to me talk. Um, I can't find music I want to listen to. Maybe, if, oh, I can just search for Electro Swing. There we go. There's the album. Found it. How do I play the whole thing? Is my sound all right? All right, I can hear myself talking when I unmute it, so we're good. Let's just throw this in the Discord real quick. We're about to do some more of this Burp Suite. Learn the basics and major components of Burp Suite, the de facto tool when using when performing web app testing. So we want to first want to go over here and get connected to our machine. So use a browser-based attack machine. Yes, I need to go to my machine to deploy. And then also we want to deploy this room. So wait, where did I deploy the room? I thought there was a button there to do it. I guess we click start attack box. Cool. And then I do need to post this in Discord because I got distracted and didn't do that. Why, why is this live stream before my most recent video that came out three days ago? That doesn't, the order on that doesn't seem right. That's weird. All right, so round one. Oh yeah, you know it. Share, copy the link, go to, I need to, uh, like an official video share for my Discord to copy the links and throw them in Discord for me. And we'll say, wait, let's just go at everybody because we want everybody to know we're doing this. Um, doing some more, my nose itches. Oh my gosh, ah, uh. <laughs> excuse me. Cyber security stuff. No, cyber security stuff. Probably gonna do this for like an hour. <laughs> oh, excuse me, jeez. I don't know why my allergies have been acting up so much lately. We're only at 60% running this machine still. Jeez, why is that deploying so slow? My machine's idle, start the machine. Oh, that's what this is doing. Okay, gotcha. Is this room up? There are known issues now? Cool. I have too many. I need to clean so bad. That's another reason I'm only doing this for an hour. I need to clean after I'm done with this stuff. And I finally... Somebody on Netlify finally answered my question. And I'm, I think I have a path forward to finish self.dev. I've been stuck because lately... I don't know what changed, but... 
the function where I was handling new user sign up broke and it was giving me like a 422 or a 433 error and I could not figure out for the life of me what was going on but somebody at Netlify pointed me in the direction where I can like say hey Netlify post to this address and it'll give me a error log and then I can hopefully figure out what's going on but let's do this so we are on number seven here target definition perhaps the most important feature burp suite uh, let's go ahead and actually get that running. So we don't need this terminal up right now. We're going to go ahead and open up our Burp Suite Community Edition here. I hope it still has all of the... It's not going to have anything we did last time. Dang it. I need to not quit in the middle of a room. I need to remember that. I need to... If I'm going to do a room, i got to go all the way through. Or halfway done with this one. So I, I feel like we could probably finish this in, a, in, an, in, a, in an hour. Jeez, getting tongue-tied. All right, um, an update is available. No, I don't want to update now. Um, this is going to be a temporary project. Use the defaults, so start burp. Can I, should I zoom in on this? Can you guys see this? All right. I don't know if I can even zoom in on this, actually. I know my head's in the bottom right, so I might be blocking some stuff down here. I just got to remember. I need to put a little sticky note down here so I can remember that my head's there on the video, because sometimes I forget that. And, you know. Oh, well. All right, what are we up to? Um, you know, we don't like reading the stuff. We just like going straight to the questions and then figuring it out on our own because we're, we're the kind of people to do that. Before leaving the proxy tab, switch intercept to disabled. Oh, I feel like I'm going to have to go back through a lot of this stuff because I quit halfway through and I don't have all of the options that I had already done. And I forget what I had messed with on here. I need to play around with this on my own. I need to dual boot or boot Kali live and play around with that on my laptop when I'm not streaming, just so I can learn more about it that way. I hope these. I feel like y'all don't get much value out of these me learning stuff streams. But hey, it's Saturday. We're just hanging out for a little bit. Also, is any game any? If so, what do you play? All right, we turned intercept off for this one. Navigate to the target tab in Burp. All right, where's target? There we go, target. And then what? We were supposed to be at some specific URL, weren't we? Where was that? Not installation. We got the cert. It comes certified in our on in browser machine. Uh, we know the features now. Dark mode. Yeah, we actually do want dark mode. How do we change that back? Because light attracts bugs. So you never want to work in a light environment. You want to work in dark mode. Ha, <laughs> dev jokes. Knee slapper, right? <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I still haven't picked that up, dude. I need to. I think, like, the last Dragon Ball Z game I played was some... It was really... It was horrible. It was, like, basically enhanced rock paper scissors like you'd have your character and he'd be going to do a fighter move and you either press a x or b or whatever the other button was and if your opponent picked the one that was that lost to that button then your attack would win it was just a really stupid dragon ball z game version but i need to pick that one up i've been doing a lot of rts games lately in this gamer discord i'm on um, let's see. So, where I think this would be in miscellaneous, probably. User options. Where is dark mode? Oh, display. Duh. A look and feel. We want Dracula. Cool. So now, do I need to hit save or do I just restart? Close and relaunch Burp Suite. All right, cool. So. Yes, we're in Dracula. Go to this. Now be dark. There we go. That looks way better. We don't want to update still. I feel like it should. their machine should automatically have the latest version. Twenty twenty point eight. We need twenty twenty one. Ooh, there's something weird. Hey Siri. How long until the year 2021? It's one year until then. Isn't that weird? 
If you ask Siri how long until the year 2021, it'll say it's one year until then. Which makes me think 2020 is not over, and we're still in 2020, and this is just 2020 part two. And the technology is the glitch in the matrix that's allowing us to see that Con conspiracy theory stuff. Super fun, right? Yeah, temporary project. Next, start burp. If this music's too loud, let me know and I'll turn that down for you guys. What's up? From India? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, dude. You can you can do it. You just gotta buckle up and learn on your own. There's so much free stuff out there now. You can do it. Like some dude in the Discord was like, hey, do I need to go to college to get a job in tech? And I was like, nah, dude. And like two or three other people. Okay, I guess like maybe like one person said no as well. But All right, so we have Dracula mode on. So we have dark mode. Uh, now we need proxy. We did, we did all the proxy quests. Now we're in target definition. So we're going to go to our target tab. Actually, in proxy, intercept needs to be off. And then uh, navigate to the target tab and burp. We did that. We just browsed the website on our target machine. Okay, I didn't browse that, so we need to go back to step six and find which website we're supposed to be browsing here. Uh, do we see an IP anywhere? Am I missing the IP? Oh, I have to deploy it, right? Peace, what's up, man? I got Chick-fil-A this morning. I'm chewing on the ice, and I'm hoping my mic doesn't pick it up because I know that'd probably be annoying. I guess I won't chew on it. I'll just, like, let the ice melt, you know? How's everybody's Saturday going? I'll do anything fun today? Did it deploy? Did it finish deploying? Okay, 49%. Cool. Did it stop on 49%? Is it broke right now? Hmm. All right. In task three, getting CA'd. Request will be by default. Or blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's the IP we needed to go to, right? So we're going to copy that. We're going to go. We're going to minimize. Burp. Open up Firefox here. I would run Kali Linux through a VPN. But I don't know how I'd stream that, too. I did HTML and CSS JS. What will you sung me to work on next? Um, go learn React. Actually, where you live in India? I don't see. Do you want to get a job in the States? Is that what your goal is? Or do you want to stay in India? Either way, you need to find where you want to work and find what framework in JavaScript is big there. And then learn that framework. I like React. That's my favorite. So you might want to do that, but Angular or Vue maybe are other good options. But you got to get a JavaScript framework down. Also, make sure you got a portfolio. Make sure you got some projects on there, and then like be a pro be applying for jobs because the worst they can say is no. And like medium case, you get called in for an interview, and then you get some technical interview experience. And even if you don't get the job, you got that experience, so that's good to have for the next time you go for a job. All right, so we're going to this IP address. Oh, I need to actually be in Firefox because Chrome doesn't let me paste from this to the VM on their site. So we need Firefox here. And then we're just going to grab this URL. And then go to Firefox and then paste that right here. Paste and go. I don't need that extra tab over there. I'm already logged in. Dang it. Ah. Where's my sticky notes with... My username. All right, we're signing in on Firefox. Oh, I hate reCAPTCHA. Those are stairs. Those are stairs. Those are stairs. Verify. I'm not a robot. I promise. Don't save my password. Don't you do that to me. All right, so we're going burp suite. And we're switching to Firefox again. Why is this still at 49%? Does that mean it's not booted up all the way? What's up with that? All right, cool, it's still pulling the same stuff from the other one. I don't need this stuff up anymore, right? I don't need Chrome? No, I don't. So that's closed. 
I also don't need that or that thing. React is in demand in India, then obviously React is what you want to learn, right? So go either, I think Moshi is his name. Moshi's got a pretty good course on YouTube for React. I haven't done any, any React tutorials or anything like that yet, but I'm sure there's some, a lot of good stuff on YouTube about React, or if you can afford it, Team Treehouse. Actually, I don't know if Team Treehouse had good stuff on React. I think Team Treehouse's stuff on React, I got stuck and I couldn't figure it out, and I had to switch to some other resources for, for React, but yeah, go find some like free React stuff, learn the basics of it, start building small stuff with it, like just rebuild, rebuild a previous project you made in JavaScript with React. Actually, don't even rebuild it, just like take your current JavaScript code and convert it to React. That's a good way, that's a good like stepping stone that helped me a lot, getting a handle on React. And then like do that to one or two projects, then actually try and build a project from scratch with React using Create React App, like build a responsive photo gallery or something like that. All right, so we're gonna open step six, grab this IP address, because we were supposed to have gone there, paste it here, delete that, paste it here, wait. Will this load? Is this where we were supposed to go? That doesn't look like the site I was at before. Um, no answer needed, websockets URL, target definition. Does this give me somewhere I need to go? I need to go to OWASP Juice Shop. Can I just search that? Probably not. Why can't I paste from here? That's the whole reason I switched. Because I thought I could paste directly into here. Cyber Chef, there we go. No, we wanted Juice Shop. How do I get there? Crap. We're already 20 minutes in. We have made no progress. We are. I'm really bad at this, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so in the format IP port, uh, Bert suite to navigate to the proxy, return to your web browser, navigate to the application in the VM, blah, 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 da, 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 da. How about if we wanted to forward the request to intruder? Burp suite saves a history, okay. Re defined in RFC 6455. I'm not seeing anything on how we got to OWASP Juice Shop. I don't see where we went there. The target application in Burp allows that. Maybe if we just take this IP and go straight there. And I don't know why I can't copy and paste it now. I could do this last time. Control C, no. All right, 10, 10, 2, 10, 99. Hey, there we go. Okay, that is what we needed. All right, and then we need to explore this a little bit because we want to generate the sitemap kind of for our burp app. Customer feedback. We'll check this thing to get all the languages. If we go to GitHub, that's an actual link to GitHub, right? Yeah, that redirects to GitHub. So we don't actually want to go there. All right, so we're good on that. We can minimize Firefox and then back in burp here. Sitemap is not showing anything. Did, not, did it not grab... Did I not configure something correctly here? What's going on with that? Confused, what's the input he's trying to put in the URL? Um, I was just trying to get to, so like on task seven here, I know this might be small. Can I even read this? Is my stream super blurry for you guys? No, that's not too bad. I think I'll go read the text, hopefully, if you've got it like full sized. But we're doing, we're in task number seven, and I'm like right here it said we navigated to OWASP juice shop. So that's where we went in Firefox on the thing here. Did I close Firefox? Maybe I did, crap. So we'll put that on the left side and then Firefox is still open. And then we're still on OWASP juice shop. So we got that, right? I need that to be bigger so I can see. Add to scope, right? Hmm, I need to not ever quit in the middle of a room. Maybe it's because I switched intercept to off. 
and I need to be tracking that. So now if we go back to Firefox on here and like, let's refresh. Oh, no, don't go back. Are we getting anything now? Intercept. Forward, use a different browser, burp options, use proxy. Ah, what did I open in browser? No. Okay, if we go back farther here, we might just start from scratch on this room. Dang it. I don't want whatever that is. Okay, so we got Burp Suite. We've got it installed. Once you've reached the port slogan's download page, we got the certified, I mean, the certificate we need. I am very interested in that. I just, I'm not at a level where I could do that at all right now. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm not at a level where I can find bugs on a site right now. I'm like super, super very basic level of computer um, or cybersecurity stuff. You will be installing Burp. We installed that from scratch. We'll need to visit this. Okay, we've got that. All right, if you're installing Burp, we've got it installed. Once you've reached the port slingers download page, go ahead and download the appropriate version for your operating system. Burp suite requires a Java runtime environment to run. I believe our VM should have all of that already. Getting certified. Oh, a VM. That's how I could run Kali Linux and connect it to this locally while still being able to record. Duh. How did I not think of that? All right, quick note, in this tab, we'll be using Firefox. Okay, launch burp, we got launch, we launched burp. Okay. Um, we hit next, we have launched burp already. This option is included, it is incredibly useful. And we started burp already. It looked similar to that, because we were on the dashboard except we've got some stuff that came in. Why is this not off? This needs to be on. That's what's up. That's what's broke. Now if I go navigate around here and go back here and go to target, Sitemap, still nothing. All right, just kidding. We're gonna keep going down this rabbit hole. All right, so burp, it's on. And we're going to go to options. We've got burp added. Local host, and then we're on port 8080, right? Yeah, we got that. So that's good. Adding the certificate, we've got the certificate already. Now that we've downloaded the, 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 I'm not, I'm still a web developer. I just feel like learning cybersecurity basics, like it's a hobby, like it's fun for me. And plus I feel like this will help me make more secure apps and stuff like that. So I think I'm actually about to start applying for like React developer jobs. Like right now where I'm working on the lead dev and I feel like I've got it, like I've got everything down. It's like pretty easy and it's not really a challenge anymore. I don't feel like I'm learning anything. So I need to kind of find something else where it's gonna, where I'm gonna be challenged and have like devs that are higher level than I am that I can learn from. But still, I'm still a front end dev or a web developer. Click view certificates. How did we get there? This is on, wait, navigate to localhost 8080. We didn't do that. So we're gonna go we're just gonna open a new tab for this. We're gonna go to, why can't I copy and paste from this side to the other side anymore? Local host port 8080. Do I need the HTTP? I don't, sweet. All right, I think we have the certificate installed already. Click on CA certificate. Do we click on open with?
move go to settings in the Firefox thing we're in settings what am I talking about and then search for certificates wait what cool we got the certificate downloaded more no web developer what are this cool yeah that's kind of what I'm gonna like look for at my next job what's up mr. Singh but yeah full stack would be more fun and then like your earning potentials like way higher versus what I do right now But like, I, this is just like something fun for me to do while I live stream. I'm doing like, besides this, outside of the live streams, I'm doing a lot on free code camp, not free code camp, um, front end masters. I'm doing a lot of their JavaScript courses to get a better handle on JavaScript and stuff like that. Okay, we got the certificate downloaded. Click on the CA certificate in the top right and it downloaded it. Move over to the setting menu in Firefox, search for certificates in the nav bar, in the search bar, All right? So we click on settings in Firefox, right? Yeah, exactly. Weekends are for other stuff. You got to diversify your interests. Even if it's just like diversifying in the industry of technology. Burp site proxy listens on only one interface. What is it? We got that. I don't think I need, is this listening? Proxy, <gasps> yes it is, okay. Finally, I don't know what we changed to get, we didn't change anything. We just turned intercept on, right? And then we turned burp on in our tabs here. Okay. You were following those? Dude, I didn't think it'd be, I didn't think those were use of use to anybody. So I was like, ah, I'm gonna prioritize other stuff above these CSS tutorials. But if you're using them, I will continue making them just for you. All right, so we're on step seven for the fourth time this video. Jesus, we turn off intercept. We go to the target tab. Awesome, our sitemap's kind of showing up now here. Find the target site in the list and right click to add it to scope. And just ah, add it to scope. So this is our target site, right? Yeah, 10, 10, 20, 10, 99. Right click, add to scope. Dude, if you guys are following those and using them, make sure you like hit that thumbs up button and like comment on them and say thanks for thanks for this. This is like helping out. I know some people probably did that. I just don't pay attention because I'm really bad at that, but, and then harass me constantly about, hey man, when's this next video coming out? When's this next video coming out? Because that helps a lot too. You guys putting pressure on me to keep doing stuff works a lot. Like I was kind of wondering what I'm gonna make Monday and now I'm gonna make a CSS tutorial and then Wednesday or Thursday, I might do like another resume review video because I haven't done one of those in a while. Click add to scope. That was the last song in this list. So we're restarting the list again. Yeah, I give you guys full permission to pester me about stuff I need to do. Like, I didn't even make a new project for this month. I haven't made a new project, a new practice project for the past like two or three months. Because I can get away with it. I'm really bad at like sinking to the lowest level I can. If nobody's holding me to a higher standard which is really bad. I need to fix that personality trait. All right, we added, clicking add a scope will trigger a pop-up. This will stop Bert from sending out of scope items to our sitemap, okay? Click yes to close the pop-up. We did that, right? We've got it in scope. So this is our site, this is our actual sitemap, right? 
Um, all right, so the first actual question we're trying to do. Um, oh, never mind, we got that out already. So that was site map, happy path. One last thing before moving on, within the target tab, you may have noticed a sub tab for issue definitions. Click into that now. All right, complete. SQL injection, PHP code injection, so many attack vectors, oh my God. And definitions of all of them. Oh, this is great. I just need to read through all of these. All right, the issue definition found here are how, the, the issue definitions found here are how Burp Suite defines issues within reporting. While getting started, the issue definitions can be particularly helpful for understanding and categorizing various findings we might have. Which position, which poisoning issues, issue arises when an application behind a, de, a cache process input that is not included in the cache key? Wait, what? So I guess if we just look for like poisoning issue, are these alphabetically sorted? Can we sort them alphabetically? Let's go to the P's. P-O. No poisoning. Um, do I need to look through these and just find the one that has the definition that matches that kind of? Let's move this up a little bit so we can see more of that. There we go, web cache poisoning. See, if I wasn't doing cybersecurity weekend, I never would have known web cache poisoning was a thing or WebSocket URL poisoning or session token and URL. Oh, that's, I know what th that's kind of the, I know about SQL injection, robot file.txt. Wow, I never thought of using that. So if you don't know robot.txt, that's a file where you can say, you can give Google, Google permission to crawl specific pages or say, hey, please don't crawl these specific pages. And this is saying that you can look at sites robots.txt files to see which pages they've said, hey, Google, Google don't crawl these pages because that can potentially give you pages that have, that have like important information on them. Because like if you don't want Google to crawl those pages, usually... There's a good reason for that. So it might be some security. It might give you some lead into like a security vulnerability. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely need to just download all these and read all these. Or make flashcards or something like that. I don't know. That's cool. All right, so we are on number eight now after 33 minutes or 30 minutes. All right. Um, Do I watch hacking methodologies? Um, like what I watch on hacking stuff is basically, here's what's on my YouTube thing. There's me, cause you gotta put that up there. There's a lot of stuff that's like everything wrong with this movie in five minutes or less, coding phase. Um, the hacking guys I follow haven't been popping up a lot lately, which is kind of disappointing. I love the guys that like counter hack the scammers. Those are fun to watch. I think it'd be awesome to get to the skill level I need to where I can do that and like fix or like counter counter hack people who are trying to scam old people out of their money. And then just like a bunch of other tech stuff. But what do you, do you watch any tech hacking related stuff? Jason Haddix, copy. Let's add that to a note so I can remember that one. And I used a few of your starter projects. They were good, but hope that as you said, that you'll do a few new ones for yourself and for the newbies. Yeah, I'm planning on like making new ones and then upgrading the ones I currently have because the ones I have are like really base level and you can do stuff to take them to like the next level to make them more impressive. And I want to add stuff like that to them. All right, as the name suggests, repeaters allow you to request, repeat requests that we've already made, obviously. So questions to start, click account. Is this on the Juice Shop website? So we're looking for a vulnerability on the Juice Shop website. 
Oh, so, okay, so the juice shop is vulnerable to SQL injections. So we're about to do a SQL injection. Sweet. So we're clicking on, I don't see an account button here. Maybe I need to go back to the homepage. Let's click on login. Maybe it's here. I'm assuming it's here. Try and log in with these credentials. Okay, so we're going to try admin at not real please staff dot com and then P A S S password in uppercase. You don't have to hide that. We want to make sure we spelled this right, right? Answer format. Oh, what error do we get when the login credentials? We get the standard error message. Invalid email or password. With a period at the end. Do I need the period? All right, cool. Ooh. But wait, don't we want to send that request to the repeater? Switching over to the HTTP sub proxy tab on this sub tab of proxy. So HTTP history. Cool. So we got a request that we sent here with the get method. That is so cool that it shows you all this stuff. I think you can see most of this stuff in the Google search console anyway, though. And we got a 403, so, or 404. Uh, right click the request and send it to repeater. Wait, what? Switch over to the HTTP sub tab of proxy. We went to proxy, we went to HTTP history. I think this is where we need to be, right? Look through these requests until you find our failed login attempt. I think it's this one, right? Actually, let's just pull this down here, right? And then we'll look, we'll click this again. Is it not gonna send our request again though? Yeah, we're just gonna assume it's this one. Right click the request, send to repeater, and then right click, send to intruder as well. Yeah, it would have been a post request, right? Not a get, because we're posting Okay, so it is these bottom ones here. So we were looking at the wrong one here. So let's go back here. And we're gonna do admin at notrealpoolsstaff.com, P-A-S-S -S word, all capitalized, right? Cool, and then we're on request number 45, right? So if we hit login, does it generate a new request? It does, so we have 46 to 47. So it's one of these bottom two here. I think it's the post request. So we're gonna right click that. We're gonna send that to the intruder and then send that to repeater because that's what it specifies us to do right here. So we're gonna say that's complete now. Now that we've sent, hey, what's up, Kim? I probably said your name wrong, but I, um, I tried. That's it's the thought that counts, right? Now that we've sent the request to repeater, let's try adjusting the request such that we are sending a single quote as both the email and the password. So we're taking this. Can I not delete that? How am I supposed to adjust it?
I can't adjust the request. Right click, send to repeater. Right click, send to intruder. It's in the request raw, request raw. I can't edit this though, why? Hmm. And the response was invalid email or password. 401 unauthorized, okay. Do I need, I need to be in the repeater, right? And then we can delete this, huh? Oh, cool. And we're gonna change that to just one single quote, okay. And then we're going to, how do we send the request again though? Send, duh. And then we got back SQL light error unrecognized token. What error is generated? So the error name is SQLized database error. But that seems too long, huh? We're gonna say SQ light underscore error and then submit that. Ooh, that's it, sweet. Next Discord bot video. What do you want me to do in one? Like, what do you want to learn? Like, I kind of stopped, like, I kind of didn't do more of those because I was like, I don't know what people want me to try to do with these. I said it right, sweet. A lot of the reasons I stopped doing particular video segments is because I feel like either people aren't getting a lot of value out of them or because I just don't know what else people want to see from it. But, and then I'm also lazy as, as anything, right? Like video games are a big temptation and I have a hard time resisting those. And then, yeah. Okay, so now that we've leveraged repeater, gain proof of concept that juice shop login is vulnerable to SQL I. So it's vulnerable to SQLite attacks because, and we know that because we sent in single quotes and it gave us back this database error, I'm guessing. Now, let's try something a little more mischievous and attempt to leave a devastating zero star review. Ha <laughs> ha so evil. First, click on the drawer button in the bottom left of the application of what application of burp or juice shop? Give me the bottom of the bar. Let me expand that a little bit so we can. Don't save. That's not real login info. Huh. That's not showing up on burp or the site, so we might just skip this question like it says to here. Oh, in the top left of the application. Is that like a hamburger menu? Like if we shrink this, will it come up? Come on, grab the bar. Give me the bar so I can shrink this page. Oh my God, we'll do it the other side. Why is the detection area so small on that? There we go. If I refresh, will it pop up? Nope, can't get it to pop up. So we're gonna expand that. And then we're just gonna skip to the next question, cool. Hey, thank you, man. Uh, the Linux command stuff, where did I learn that? I think I learned That's just like stuff you need to know to do git from command line. And that's kind of what I learned it from. And then just doing like random YouTube videos.
I don't see customer feedback on here. Do you guys? Am I, am I just blind? We're on juice shop still, right? Yeah, it still says we're on Juice Shop on Heroku app, right? And then here, our request is going to, where is that? That's post, except ours is going to localhost instead of that address. If this isn't present for you, just skip to the next question. That's not present either, huh? Oh, next two are under contact us. Let's go to contact us customer feedback. Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll just say that's completed. And then this one's completed too because they don't need answers. With the burp proxy on submit feedback. Wait, with the burp proxy on submit feedback. Okay. So is proxy is it's on, right? We didn't turn it off. So it should I think it should just detect that. We don't need those repeater requests there. We're just gonna go back to proxy. Um, we are on request number 92, and then we're gonna submit feedback. So we'll just say anonymous, and we'll say horrible place. Except we gotta use proper grammar. And then we'll give them a one-star review. Actually, we'll give them a four-star review, because why not? What is seven minus four, right? Ah, guys, don't watch me do math. Have you ever tried not a um, all I've done on over the wire are the bandit challenges, and I haven't, e I haven't even done all of those yet. I might go back and eventually and finish the tutorial series I'm doing on the bandit woods and then to go do more. But I paid like 30 bucks for three months of try hack me, so I'll probably stick with this for a little while first. Thank you for your feedback, cool. So now, uh, where's our request? Post, right, because we posted that. Let's expand that up a little bit, cool. So we can see our post request here. So now we wanna send this to repeater. So we can repeat that quest. And uh, yeah, the rating is right here is a four. Find the post request in your HTTP history and burp and send it to repeater. We did that. I'm kind of getting a, I'm kind of getting a handle a hand on and I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Is what I'm trying to say. And then we're going to change this to a zero star review rating. And we're going to change this to do not eat here because we're it's a restaurant, I guess. What field do we have to modify in order to submit a zero star review? We are going to modify the rating field. And then if we send our request again, user ID is null, captcha ID, so we just faked the captcha ID? Like the fake, we faked the captcha to prove that we're a robot? Cool. Rating zero, updated. Huh, cool. Can I see that on their site now, somewhere? Can I see their reviews? Or will it just show me the, give me the opportunity to submit feedback? That, it looks like that's all it gives me. That's kind of dope. This is so cool. It's server side web security, if ever, dude. Yeah, I'll probably, I will, I'll definitely try that out eventually. There's just like so much stuff to learn, you know? But it makes it kind of hard to pick what you want to learn now. All right, so we've completed number eight. On to number nine, there's an intruder. Uh, 
Um, wait, did we not complete number eight? Oh, we didn't complete step number one. Now we've completed eight, right? Yeah, now we're on nine, cool. Sniper, battering ram, pitchfork, cluster bomb. Those are cool attack names. That's kind of cool. Um, remember, use your hacking powers for good, ladies and gentlemen. What attack type allows us to select multiple payload sets? I'm going to go with pitchfork. Some of the questions they give you on here are too easy. Like this, the last part of this answer has four letters. So you can just look at this and you're like, okay, it's cluster bomb without even having to know like really what, what it is, which doesn't help learning. So we're going to read through these real quick. Okay. So sniper kind of cycles through our attacks, battering ram, Battering Ram kind of does it all at once, so that's kind of more brute force-ish. Pitchfork allows us to use multiple payloads. Cluster Bomb allows us, that's kind of like the widest range. Okay, gotcha. So those kind of make sense with their names. Cool. So this one is Cluster Bomb... YouTube's gonna destroy my stream because I'm saying these words, dang it. Oh my gosh, I love Mr. Robot, dude. Except the last season, like the last couple episodes were kinda like, ah, what the, that's that's a little weird. So I didn't, I don't think I finished the last episode because I was watching on Amazon Prime and I was going, ah. But the first episode ever where he destroys that dude in the coffee shop, oh, so good. Most common type of attack, cool. Download the word list attached to this room, sweet. Dude, I'm, I'm realizing I've never just straight up downloaded a file from GitHub. I need to download just this particular text file. And I don't want to sign into GitHub on the terminal to download it. Git blame raw. Oh, yeah, it's good. What if we just copy this? This is not very big. And then, oh wait, I need to do that in our copy link location. I need to download that in our VM here. Okay, why can't I copy from there and paste it in here? I might have to get a v, uh, VPN and just run all of this inside a Kali Linux VM locally next time. Because this crossing over is annoying. Plus, it won't save my data. And I feel like if my data was saved, I wouldn't have had to spend like 15 minutes trying to remember where I was at before. Alright, download the word list attached to this room. There's there this is a shortened version of the Oh, download. 
disconnected. Why? I don't want to download it there. I want to download it. I can make that full screen. That's cool. Why did this disconnect? Has it been an hour? If I refresh. Come back to me. I need you, virtual machine. Um, what's the URL I'm downloading this from? Cop, nope. We right click this, we go to copy link location, we go here, we right click, we can't paste. Why? Should I just alert, log in to try hack me in this machine? Probably. Yeah, I think I think we should. I think we're gonna do that. So we're going to go break that out into a new tab. Expand that. We're gonna go to tryhackme.com. Now we're meta logging in because we're on a VM on their servers logging in to their servers. I feel like there's some way we could attack with that. We're not gonna do it because we like these guys. And plus, I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know. All right, so where's my OBS? I need to hide my window for a sec. So you guys can't see my login credentials. I wonder if there's a way you can like bypass that and still see it. Oh wait, I can't type that in here. That's annoying. Oh god, that's annoying. Never mind, we're gonna put this back up. Because I'm actually not gonna log in here. I need to figure out how to copy and paste from Firefox to this little VM thingy. Is this what I need? Clipboard. Can I paste there? No, I can't. What does this one do? Control. See, what does that mean? Can I paste stuff in here now, maybe? Or out of here now? We also need our music to restart. Don't they, our music. 100. Nope, that's not our music. Actually, it's 11, so. I actually gotta hop off. Yeah, we got, we made some progress today. We got seven and eight done. I'll probably try, I might try and do this on my own or try and figure out how to run this through a VM so I can screen record on the VM. Because I feel like that'd be way easier than having to deal with copy and paste and stuff. And I will keep doing the CSS tutorial videos because now I know that you guys like those and the JavaScript or the Discord bot ones. So I'll try and figure out some other cool stuff to do with that. Because right now, like in the gaming Discord I'm in, we need a bot to handle roles based on your interactivity with the server. And uh, there's bots that do that already, but it'd be way more fun to just build one. So I might try and do that, make a tutorial of that. And then if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see me do, let me know, because I'm always looking for suggestions, ideas, and feedback, stuff like that. Um, if you need to go hop in the Discord, I think the link to the Discord is in the description, maybe? Let me see. Edit. I don't have the invite to Discord in this stream. Let me stick that in there real quick. We do have a Discord group. It's, it's like mostly focused on like front-end devs, though. I almost have as many viewers as Dylan Israel does in his. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's mostly like web developers. It's not a lot of cybersecurity stuff. There is like a Kali Linux section, but whatever. Um, join Discord. There we go. We're going to copy that. We're going to put that in the description here. All right, so now, if you look in the description of this video, I think there should be a invite to the Discord. If you need to come hop in there and talk tech, keep in touch, be friends, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button if this helps you out or you got any kind of value out of this or just had fun. Um, bootstrap. I think it's good for like prototyping sites. I don't really, I don't have like Met or uh, Sam, like the guy on the Discord, he has a really negative view on it. I don't have as negative a view on it. Like I, I've, I used it to build a site, a Tri Digital. I think I used it to build our company site, and it worked out pretty well. So it saved some time. But there's a lot of other CSS frameworks and libraries and stuff like that you could use. So, uh, all right, cool. Well, I'm about to hop off and go take a shower and go do some other stuff. Like I said, come hop in Discord if you want to hang out, talk tech, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.